Hello friends, once again welcome to Abhyas Training Institute. So as in last video we have discussed how we can open any text file and we can display the text and we can determine length of the text in that file. Okay, so now what we will do, we will try to determine the number of lines or what we will do, we will convert that string into array and then we will try to determine the line count available in that text file. Okay, so that is two objects that we are going to cover this particular video okay so let's see how it's work so first what we will what we will do we will just try to run that file so in last video we have so that how we can do it if you have not watched that video please go and watch then you can continue here okay so so now what we will do uh, we will just uh, try to convert that string into array then we will determine the size so let's go to the string so most of the time if you are working with file and you are you are having a string in that file so we will be using a string function most of the time so this is how um, both will be covered like file management system and a string operation that's why we have not talked about much in past about that in those string operations so now we will be discussing about this so now what we are having we are having the spreadsheet okay so we are going to use this um, function so in this um, function what we are having we can give um, string as an input and then we can get array output okay so let's just select that function so if you want to see the detail of that function on the top you can see that is the delimiter okay it's just used to decide the separator of what kind of file is that it's like a tab separator or any specific separator okay so for now i am just going to left it like that then we are have we are having a string format so for this what i am going to do i will create a constant okay so we will go here then we will create a mm, yeah we will create a string constant so let's go there and then have a string constant okay and what is this format okay so in this format normally what will happen so in this format like if we are having text in the file means uh, our file means our data input data type is string then what we will use we will use percent s if we are having like a, a integer then we will use d if I, we are having floating point then we will be using f so for now what we are having we are having string so we are we are going to use we are going to use s if you want to know about those so what you can go you can click on detail help then you can go here on format syntax so you can see all the options available here so if you want to know more about it you can go to right so here you can find everything that you are you are looking for so yeah we are having a multiple type of like if you want to get a only two floating type of data right so what you will do you will just uh, use percent 2f right so now what we are having we have format just let me show you a few so this is our input so i will keep it here then let's connect this here okay next what we are having we are having a string so here what we will do we will put our input string so we are we have connected our input string here now the array type so this is very important here you need to select exact array size that you want to see in a, the output so for now what i will do i will create one a string array constant so how we can create you we have to go to array then we will select constant and i want size of two dimension array then what we will do we will go and we will select a string constant and paste over it so now we can define the size of the array now what we will do we will create an integrator let me get it here let me just increase the size so size has been increased then let's this is stuff okay so this is our array of string this should be the array of string so we have defined a format we have a string and everything so i don't think we need to do anything else so let's just select the view as this one and let's run the code okay and then we will see what we are getting in the output 
so are you excited about it or not so let's see okay so here you can see we are we are having we are having all of the line in individual array so this is how you can split your string into array right so if you what you will do if you will drag it you can see all of them so for now i don't want to see it so i'm just leaving it here okay then what we will try to so our main objective is so but but we have done we have uh, converted that input string into array so now you can work with that array and you can perform any operation you want but for now we want to determine the size of that array so how we can determine the size of array we will use array size and why we want to know about the size of the array because so we can know the length of that file means line count of that file okay so i will go and i will create the what we are having yeah first one array size right and i will connect it here so we will get two dimensional array size and i will create integrator okay and let's run it so you can see we are having 15 cross 1 so what we are having we are having the size 15 cross 1 so if we want to verify we can count the line 1 3 4 7 8 9 10 11 15 okay so we are having total 15 lines so this is how we can get the uh, line count now but if we want to select a particular line from that string so now but we are having we are having two options but we can do we can go in array and we can get array index and we can get a single row from that right so this is the one way and another way what we can use we can use pick line so i think we should have that function over here so yeah we are but we are we have another function like pick line right so pick line is there we can see string function only so if we want to see we can go to string then we can have advanced string function then we can use pick line so not only what pick line is do by we can connect our multi-line string to it okay and we can get it in output string let me just create a integrator so it will be our single line string right and then we will create a control for this so let me just remove this and this will be our line in so let me run this code now you are seeing we are having zero line so now in this in that case just let me clear you like or we are not using that array function right we are directly working on string so what we have done we have get that string as an input and now we are getting a line if you want any line like if i am even first line then we can select 15 line we don't have anything then we can select 16 we don't have anything size 15 so we can get there so last line is up there so this is how we can split our string to an array and determine the size and work with that it means like if you are having a text file then we can read a line count we can read a single line as well okay so this is how it's work so i hope you find that video helpful if you do please do not forget to subscribe to the channel